Hello everyone, Josh here with Josh's Rookie Reef Tank channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I posted a video. Uh, I've been really busy with work and uh, kind of let this tank go for a little while. Uh, didn't have much livestock in it. As you can see I had some coralline uh, developing nicely and actually changed my lights. I had the uh, T5 halides, a 72 inch up there and my electric bill just kind of skyrocketed. So uh, I think I got these three Vipar Spectras on sale for about a hundred around $100 each, 125 each, something like that. Came to around $400 shipped to my house and fabulous lights. Uh, accidentally left them on a little too high and had an, an explosion of green hair algae, so I've been battling that. Uh, starting to get that under control, as you can see, and decided to start adding my fish. So I already had a yellow wrasse, uh, the damsels. I have uh, three damsels in there, I believe. Uh, we have a Christmas wrasse running around in there somewhere. We have a rather large lawnmower blenny and a purple firefish over there. Very nice fish. And just added two purple tang uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, in a bit of a rush, as I said, uh, a little bit excited getting going on the tank again and did not quarantine them. As you can see, I've got a quarantine tank going over here now with, there's five antheas in there. And kind of learned my lesson and should have known better to begin with, but like I said, they looked healthy when I got them, so dropped them in. And one of the purple tangs is completely covered in ick. I've tried the ick attack and all the things that have been recommended in the past but just really haven't had any luck with it so I decided to try something new. My system here is 225 gallon and I have a 40 gallon sump underneath so 265 gallon in total obviously with rock and sand and everything in there it's, it's going to be less than that. but. I'm going to try something I read about and saw some videos on, which has me completely nervous, but I'm tired of messing with this ick. It's called Soluble Drench Powder, Levomisol. Um, so from what I've read and the videos I've seen is you pull your carbon out, which I've done. I've turned my protein skimmer off, which is, you can see it better right there. Protein skimmer is off and it came to there was varied amounts on how much to use from what i read and like i said the videos i saw but i am going to use one gram of the soluble drench powder for every gallon well which technically i'm going to do 2.6 grams and i'll mix that now and see i've got a scale here i'll zero it out and i'll add the powder to the scale to 2.6 grams and i will mix it with my tank water there after mixing and dumping it in the tank, um, you're supposed to turn your lights off for two hours and do a large water change. Right here I've already started making 32 gallons and I have another 15 gallons that I'll add for a total of 47 gallons out of my 260 gallon tank. So I will mix this right now and add it. scale on with it on there it should already zero so I'm going to add 2.6 oh, got lucky there 2.6 it's on grams to my tank water So as you can see there, it's in there. I'm going to stir that until it dissolves. And from what I've read and the videos I've watched, uh, the corals, if you have corals, uh, it is coral safe. Uh, from what I've read and seen, like I said, uh, travel at your own risk here. But <clears throat> And it doesn't kill shrimp, it doesn't kill snails and hopefully it kills it. So I've got everything mixed here and I'm willing to give it a try because I'm tired of dealing with ick. 
So 2.6 grams for 265 gallons of water, roughly just under, I'm doing just under one gram per gallon. And I will dump that in. Again, skimmers off, all charcoal is out of the system. I'll dump this in, turn the lights off for two hours, and then do a large water change. 